Hey, what's going on? Got another pitching question today, and this one's from Hi Hi, and he says, Coach, do you have to have a giant stride to pitch faster because I play 14U AAA and I am 12, but I am the smallest on the team, and it's difficult to strike out a lot of batters because my velo isn't super fast. It's like 70 miles an hour. Uh, no, to answer your question, you don't need a super giant stride or, uh, or <laughs> however you said it. Um, in fact, the uh, Major League average stride is 87% of their height. So um, you didn't say how tall you were, but you said you were one of the smaller guys. So um, you can take your height, whatever your height is, and find out 87% of that. And that will give you the Major League average of stride length. And so that could tell you at least if you're in the right area or not. So that's just something, uh, a little tip that you can use to find out where you are compared to Major Leaguers. Now, with that being said... I don't think stride length uh, really has a, a, a whole lot to do with velocity, at least not directly related to, uh, because you see a lot of guys who do have huge strides in the major league who are well over uh, that 87%. I think Chapman is at like, like 110% or 105%, something like that of his height. Um, you know, obviously he throws pretty fast, but there are also 100 mile an hour pitchers that have shorter stride, uh, shorter stride lengths. In fact, one that comes to mind, uh, who has a very short stride length, was uh, Heath Bell. And he threw, you know, 100 miles an hour as well, 97, 98 consistently. And his stride length was so short, you know. So I don't think uh, stride length is directly related to velocity. I think, you know, it matters uh, in the way that you use your body. But more importantly than stride length is the timing of your the timing and sequencing of your mechanics, right? If you can do that efficiently and powerfully and effectively, that's what's going to create velocity, right? Your stride length is just going to be, you know, how how you get, how you let your body move through those motions, right? So some guys are going to be a little bit shorter. Some guys are going to be a little bit uh, longer, right? Guys who are a little more linear might have a little bit longer stride. Guys who are more rotational might have a little shorter stride because they're getting a lot of energy from their rotation. Um, and then you got guys who are, who are mixed, who, who are going to be, you know, uh, somewhere in the middle. So really it all depends on, uh, again, the timing and the sequencing of your delivery. That is the most important when it comes to uh, pitching velocity, right? How you create energy from the ground up and transfer it through your body and out through your arm. That's that's how we get velocity, right? It's not about just about stride length or just about arm speed or just about arm strength or just about these little parts. It's the whole system, right? Our body is a whole system. And when we're moving down the mound, we have to be efficient and we have to transfer energy from the beginning, from the ground, from the rubber, up through our body. So it starts with our drive, right? And our drive is not our stride. Some people think, oh, well, you got to drive hard. So that means you're going to stride far. No, you have to create energy, right? We have to drive off that mountain. We have to transfer it through our body. But that doesn't mean that our stride has to be super far. We do want to get a good drive though. Then we transfer that into our, 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 our rotation, right? We want to get some good hip to shoulder separation, a good rotation start, really closed off, and then unwind and open up. And if we can do that without leaking any of our energy, then we're going to be able to efficiently transfer it through our release point. And that's what we want to do, right? To pitch faster. Um, so again, it's not directly related to your stride length, but think about uh, your height versus, uh, or, or not versus, but 87% of your height. And that'll give you at least a good idea of if you're way off or, or, or not. But again, don't let that be the end all be all of what you're trying to do, right? Focus more on the whole delivery, the whole sequence of your mechanics, the whole movement, right? I don't even like saying mechanics. I like saying the movement, the pitching movement, uh, be athletic, be explosive, right? That's what uh, velocity comes from. So I hope that answers your question. Um, you know, 74, 12 year old, 12 years old is, is not too shabby. Keep working. Um, at it obviously and when it comes when you said uh you know you you you're having trouble striking out a lot of batters you know obviously velocity helps with that but there's a lot of guys who don't throw fast who strike a lot of batters out relative to the leagues that they're playing in right uh so what you want to do to strike more batters out is to disrupt the batter's timing and their balance right if you can mess up the batter's timing and balance no matter how fast you throw uh, you're going to be successful and get more swing and miss uh, pitches.
pitches, right? Have more swing and miss pitches. They're going to not hit your balls as much. How do you mess up a batter's timing? You throw a fast pitch and a slow pitch, and that's going to be relative, right? Obviously, even though your fastball is slower than some of your teammates, you said, uh, as long as you have a good changeup to pitch off of that or other off-speed pitches to pitch off of that, you can mess up their timing, right? How do you mess up their balance? You pitch in, you pitch out, you pitch up, you pitch down. You mix your spots, you mix locations, you mix, mix the speeds of your pitches, and that's how you strike out batters. Obviously, velocity can help you in this feat, but you can strike out a lot of batters without having the velocity too. Always working to get better and get faster and pitch faster. Obviously, that's that's a that's a, a huge tool to have. So we're always working towards that. But in the meantime, we can still focus on striking guys out, getting guys out while we're pitching. So I hope that answers your question. That was a great question. Thank you so much. If you have a question, drop them down below in the comments. And uh, if it's a good one, I'll make a video and answer it. Thanks for watching, guys.